Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 65, and I'm your host, DW, a.k.a. Darius, and you're watching another episode of No Regulars Podcast, like I said, and I got another one of my brothers back with me, you see Ish here with me. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. And if you're tuning in, thank you for tuning in again. Uh, follow us on all the socials at No Regulars on TikTok, we're at 210,000 on TikTok. Follow us at No Regulars.podcast on Instagram. Follow us on all podcasting platforms. On Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts at No Regulars Podcast, and subscribe to the channel. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, comment down below, like all that good stuff. You got anything to say for the intro? No. <laughs> yeah, but um, oh, if you guys had a happy holiday, just let us know in the comments. But yo, how you how you enjoyed your Thanksgiving, brother? You enjoyed it? Oh uh, yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Um, I actually went out to eat. Yeah, people, I don't know if y'all know, it's just, it's just bougie, bro. This nigga don't have, <laughs> he stopped having, like, Thanksgiving dinners, like, two, three years ago. Him and his family go to, like, Ruth Chris. Hey, I ain't never. Yo, where, chill. Was it, where'd y'all go? Um, the, the Capitol Grill. Oh, what'd you, what'd you get? You know, I had to get some, I had to get a, some steak. I had to get a strip, a New York strip. See, niggas, this nigga <laughs> don't eat no turkey on I Thanksgiving. I was not go for no turkey. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna nah. lie. I think I think Thanksgiving a little overrated, bro. Hey. At least with the food wise. Hey, cause I had so many like different types of foods for Thanksgiving. I'm just like it's a little bit of everything at this point. Oh it's really? Just, it's just mad food at this point. Cause like I don't know, cause. I mean, with Jay, she be having, it's, they don't really have turkey. They have, like, you know, like, pork and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So it's not too bad. But, like, just the traditional, like, turkey, mashed potatoes, mac and, I mean, mac and cheese is still good. But, like, turkey, mashed potatoes, stuff, and that shit's all overrated, people. Yeah, yeah, turkey, turkey's cool, you know, but, like, it's, at like, the end of the day, it's, it's turkey. That's bro. what I'm saying. That should be dry. <laughs> But the gravy, the gravy busted though. That's the thing. The <laughs> gravy, the gravy is OP. That's what makes it. That's why. I, that's when I like the turkey. Really? The gravy put it on everything. I'm not even gonna. I don't even like gravy that much. Oh no! <laughs> you gotta have the right, the right gravy. Depends, depends. Like you was the type of niggas that had like two, three plates on Thanksgiving. Um, yeah. Oh like, really? Sometimes. Yeah, I would get like. Little plates. Oh, little plates at a time? Because, like, there will be so much. Like I said, yeah. we have the traditional foods, and then we'll have hella extra. Maybe it'll be some some seafood. Some, oh, no, seafood's kind of good. Some uh, steak. My dad made some tough steak. Mm. Some other stuff. Yeah, it'd just be mad different. So See, that's not too bad. If shit's like that, but I, I don't know. I be seeing people's shits. They have some bland-ass food. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, I bro. I see mad plates, a lot of memes. Hella a memes, of, bro. A lot of Hella no seasoning on that <laughs> shit. Y'all people know who y'all talk. Y'all know who y'all are, bro. But um uh what's it? But what I usually what I usually do on Thanksgiving, I go to my grandparents' house. And then I so I went to like three places this Thanksgiving. I went to my grand one of my my dad's side and then I went to my my mom's side, and then I went to Jay's house afterwards. Oh, uh, I, yeah, uh, you did a little bit of everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But what was it? What I want to talk about this week? Uh oh, so the World Cup is out. The World yeah. Cup is going on. If y'all don't know, World Cup is going on. By the time World y'all hear Cup. this, it might be. Shouldn't World it be? Cup. <laughs> You're cringe, bro. <laughs> You're cringe. Freaking! I think one of one of my boys from work. He's at the World Cup right now. Oh, word. Yeah, he bought. He bought. All, I think he's there for like a week, and he only paid like four hundred dollars for the tickets. Mm. That's a steal. I heard niggas what? paying bread. Yeah, bro. Thousands, thousands. We we want to win the World Cup. <sighs> you want your man's to win, bro? Nah, honestly, I don't know. I don't really know. It's just whoever at this point. Yeah, I mean, I like yeah, I do like certain players, but. If anybody wins, it's gonna be lit regardless. I get me. you. Do you really be watching like the games, or do you just like go like here and there, and just like see if you see it on like like highlights and shit like that? Um, honestly, me it depends on the team. I mean, I used to watch a lot when I was younger when I used to play. So yeah. the teams I used to remember and stuff, I watch. Oh, I get you. I get you. Type stuff. 
like I'm not gonna lie, like I never was a soccer guy, but after like I'll be working at the soccer games, I kind of get into, and a lot of my friends like at school are kind of like soccer players. I kind of understand a little more, so when I see yeah, it, it's, it's a little cool. more exciting now. Yeah, it's cool. That's why I be playing. I be playing FIFA and stuff. I'm chips and, at FIFA. I ain't gonna lie. And nigga don't even be playing with us. <laughs> Weird ass nigga just be playing by himself. This nigga just goes on the. Bro, y'all y'all don't know how to work as a team, bro. bro I, got, I gotta do. control my own team. <laughs> <laughs> that I be playing, I be I be lit, bro. This nigga Ish has a PS5 and all he does is just play online against niggas. He got 2K, yeah. don't play with this. He got he had FIFA. I don't know what the you you be playing Call of Duty, bro. Um, yeah, a little bit. You be playing? They don't have there's no zombies this one, right? No, I wish. I, I be know playing you, that Warzone. That oh, new Warzone okay. be having me crying <laughs> with the proximity chat, bro. Crying. Me and Jordan be playing. Yo, did y'all win a game yet? Nah. Really? That shit hard. Nah, it really is, bro. These niggas be tweaking, bro. In the gulag, too, bro. They be chatting. Nah, they, they be, be chatting. <laughs> they be ch- nah. Be nah. getting me tight. Hey, bro. But this is, I'm glad they put some shit like that in the game. It makes it a little more funny. Yeah, nah, definitely. But it's cool, though. I think I think it's all right. I ain't going to lie. Games just, they just don't be getting me hype like that no more. So they, I just have them. Just I, to have them. Yeah, I get you. I feel like. I feel like there'll never like there'll be never a, a year where I won't get some video games like two K or something. Yeah, no, like that. I, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna always have video games, but I just feel like as I'm getting older and older, I'm just gonna play less and less and less. And that's less how and that's less. how it be, bro. But I mean, I feel like quarantine. Like if it wasn't for quarantine, I probably wouldn't be playing as much video games as I am now, bro. Definitely, definitely. Niggas didn't do nothing but play video games. No, that bro. changed. That changed a lot of people's lives. Though. Yeah, yo, it really did. But but going back to the FIFA thing, bro, I was talking about it because I remember I was reading something about like the FIFA president. He said that he would he's open to having the World Cup in North Korea in twenty thirty. North Korea. But he's talked to the um. What? I I can't we can't say his name on here because YouTube gonna ban us. But that mm-hmm. nigga, but he, he's talked to him and just imagine he had the World Cup there, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that's gonna be a start. He he planning some shit, bro. If something happens, like bro, you're just gonna get like. You're just gonna get locked up immediately, or are they just gonna like banish you? They're gonna do something crazy. Oh, they're to you. sick, bro. I think some dude. Somebody run on the field. They probably gonna like kill you or something. Oh, they going. They got snipers on deck. They, <laughs> they, gonna, got sni- they gonna like just do something crazy. Like I'll be scared. Bro, I feel like they are gonna have like that's where they are gonna keep all the leaders and they are gonna freaking imprison everybody. Like, you can't leave no more. Cause bro, we don't even know much about them now. We know what they're capable of, but like. You we know, don't really people. know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, That's we really what, don't know. That's just mad creepy. Like some dude got arrested because he took down he he took like a them little them little posters from his hotel. He took it and he seen it on surveillance and they arrested him. And then I guess they put him in a coma. And then they I, I guess America like negotiated and brought him back. But then he died. Like they they said that it, it wasn't like like they beat him so bad and put him in a coma. But he was they was oh. he was just supposed to be in like a them little. Them little camps type shit. Mm-hmm. So like I guess like they put him in a coma so they don't say like what the hell he's seen or what they did to him or some shit like that. Oh, so you forget type stuff. Yeah, but the nigga died, bro. It was like recent. I think it was like two thousand like fifteen or some shit like that. That's why I don't know why niggas take North trips to North Korea. Korea I didn't know he's crazy. Nah, I can never, bro. Freaking Britney Griner is in a goddamn labor camp. Yeah, I heard bro. she was in the worst of the worst camp. Yes, bro. They said she got. She's freaking. And they said she's doing like sixteen hour shifts yes. or something crazy. Sixteen hour shifts of straight labor. She getting abused Bruh, mentally for a freaking one of one of them things. Wasn't bro. it just a pen though? Yeah, bro. But I mean, all right. So you think of the? I feel like it's just because of the war. It's just because it's America, bro. If you really want me to be honest, I think it was just. I think she's just. She was just a plot for something bigger. Like, like they're waiting. They're waiting to use her for something. Yeah, like I don't know. I heard because we have, I heard we have some like top notch like like Russian criminals locked up, and they want to negotiate. Yeah. And I heard she might be part of the negotiation. They wanted to release like some guy. Oh, like that he, he like uh, traded guns, right, or something yeah. like that. <laughs> and then another dude was like a a mass murderer or something, <laughs> like like some real deal serial killer, bruh. And they was like, yeah. Is that for, worth it? They are like, <laughs> <laughs> basically, that's what I think. Because I'm like, bro, they trying to make it seem like, bro, she wasn't uh, following the law. She didn't care. She, yeah. Like, it's it wasn't even that. Like, it's crazy in these other and it's countries. it's not even bro. like she had, like, 
so much like she, she had just had this, a little bit a little like that's thing. A, that's enough to where like you could like all right you can go by yeah but that's the thing that's a, another thing though she really when you go to these places um especially these foreign places you really have to look up every law because they got shit different than we do everything like you see how the world cup is all them laws like you can't even drink or yeah, nothing in I there heard. like you can't there's a lot of things you can't do yeah I heard it's just restrictions everywhere. Like everywhere is not from like the United States. You yeah. Know? So I guess I guess that makes a lot of sense. And even like in the World Cup, freaking, I heard with the Iran game, I heard like the the players' families were threatened if they lost the game. Like they was gonna torture or like kill them. Hey yo. Like I don't know who because you know Iran and is like we went to war with them. Mm-hmm. So I don't know who's telling the people. They're like yo. If you lose this game, bro, your family's going to get tortured. Your kids, they're going to get put in jail. Like, they was threatening them. And then they lost. <laughs> and I seen all the people's faces. They was all sad. I'm like, dang, I wonder why. Yo. They <laughs> Yo, I'm like, nah, there's no way. That's cheese. That's too cheese. I'm like, yeah, bro. Like you, cheese. like, you really just playing your heart out. Some bullshit happened. Like, imagine you You're playing. You're playing for your life, literally. <laughs> literally playing, literally for, your playing life. for your life. Imagine you playing basketball. You get a game winner in your mitt. It's not your fault. It's some bullshit. Now you got to die. Well, just uh, somebody's just nicer than you, bro. You can't guard them. Hey, bro. But hey, since, since we talking about that, I got a question, right? Mm-hmm. So this is for your life. If you don't complete this task, you die. All right. And you get a... I'll give you a week to prepare for it. Okay. So you have to hold Steph Curry to under 25 points in a single NBA game. All right. Or you have to get two solo tackles in an NFL game. Two solo tackles. So you have to tackle somebody by yourself. All right. Damn. <laughs> Which one are you going to choose for your life, bro? Dang. Honestly. Yeah, Steph Curry, that's that's honestly impossible. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, think- I'll foul him <laughs> his life away. I'll probably foul out before anything. That's impossible. And tackle, I'm going to just have to get lucky. Honestly, like. Hella ankle somebody's, tackles. Yeah, on on everything. Somebody's gonna like hit somebody right, and then I'ma just I'ma just low cut him. That's what just, I'm saying. <laughs> say just I'm, I'm just diving <laughs> for his <laughs> diving for his freaking legs, legs bro. bro. I'm just throwing my body at that. But because nah, I'm I'm too small. It's clips. I'm not I'm not <laughs> going no head up with nobody. As if you might get fucking cracked. Bro. I'm gonna get laid out. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> I'm going straight low. <laughs> Hella low cut? Hella low. So you're going to try to get two tackles, bro, for your life. Yeah. Damn, imagine it's like two. <laughs> two that shit's got... going to be hard. I'm going to get rocked so many times <laughs> attempting it. I'm probably going to be almost dead by the time I get up. I'm going to be trying so hard. Oh, my God. Maybe I might try to do whole Steph Curry, bro. I just hope he has a bad game that day. Like he Bad just... game? Imagine he just like. Bad game. That is his bad game now. 25? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Oh, He's going to have bro. mad missed shots, but all his shots are probably going to be threes. So it's just going to be it's a gonna mad, add up. mad added up points. Oh, my God, bro. That's what I'm saying. If he, if he makes the first he's shot. He's going to miss a lot, but he's going to take a lot. Yeah, that's true. Especially see my ass on him, bro. He's going to be like, this nigga food. <laughs> Honestly, bro. Oh, my. He be frying. There be like three people on him. I know. They be, cause you seen that shit? He did like a step back hop shot that he be doing in 2K, bro. Bro. Nigga did a fade away from like 40 feet and drilled that shit, bro. Yeah, bro. No. Yeah, you know, I'm going to do tackles. I'm going I'm to get a tackle, bro. Hopefully, it's not no Aki niggas. I'm just going to... Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm going to be getting rocked. It's probably not going to happen until, like, I might get a lucky one. Maybe oh. the maybe the end of the second quarter. Maybe even the end of the third. And then I already know the last one is going to be at the end of the <laughs> game. I'm just going to try my hardest. Oh, a cheese tackle? Yeah. Like, uh, I'm going to be getting rocked the whole game, though. Yeah, bro. I get you. All right, bro. So, all right, so which one would you rather pick for the rest of your life? After every sentence, you will always say a curse word. So after every single sentence you say, it will be a curse word right afterwards. Mm-hmm. Or you only are limited to, limited to 100 words a day. So after 100 words is up, you're just mute. Hey. <laughs> after 100 words is up. So say you say 100 words. Now you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> no words coming at uh, your mouth, bro. Um, Nothing, bro. Dang, bro. Um, nah. Honestly, <laughs> I might just do the freaking. 
Wait, what was the one? The first one is after every sentence you say, you will say a curse word. Uh, what was the what was the other one? And then you are only limited to a hundred words a day. I'm gonna take that hundred words per day. Loki, that's a good answer. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna just I'm gonna just text the rest. I'm just use my phone the rest. I'm be like. Because honestly, if you curse after every sentence, you're not nah, gonna get a job. There's gonna be certain times in your point in life you're gonna be getting married. You're gonna be like, I fuck, I, fuck, I do, but <laughs> you're gonna be saying, I do. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, like, I do, bitch. <laughs> that would be maximum C, nah. They'd be like, I can't control it. be like, nah, Nick. Yeah, you can. Imagine you're in a job interview. I'm like, oh, so how's, um, so why would you apply for this job? Oh, I think I'm pretty good for this He's job. Like, nah, because I need it. He'd be like, nigga. That's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be like at the end. <laughs> Yo, you would never, you'd really be a bum, bro. Nah, you would get nowhere like, bro. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. You can't just go around wilding. But just a hundred words. See, all right, so when a hundred words, I'm gonna have to get like, you know, like, you know. I'm gonna speak like, so. Uh, like one word, in, like one words. I can, I won't be able to do a podcast. I'm not gonna lie. I probably speak like four thousand words in this pod, bro. No, yeah, no. <laughs> it's <podcast> deep. So <laughs> deep. I'm gonna have to like type that shit out, like fucking. What's type that? it and then get like it's a like Stephen Hawking. Uh, oh, a I'm robot be... sound thing. Yeah, yeah. It might be Stephen <laughs> Hawking. That's looking tough. <laughs> that's tough. They're yeah, gonna be walking around with like a speaker and shit. Yeah, that's that's Loki hard, but I might be fucking around be Stephen Hawking, bro. Hey, bro. Anything but that curse is <laughs> that curse is bad, bad for you. Yo, which well, you know what was wrong with Stephen Hawking, bro? I don't know. Um, I be thinking that nigga like a fake, bro. Like you tell me that man act like that, but he's the smartest nigga, uh, one of the star- smartest niggas alive. I really don't know what's wrong with him. I don't. I Didn't think, they say something? Wasn't wasn't it? Isn't there something wrong with his brain? But like, that's what I'm saying. It buddy. just made him. There's something wrong with it, but it ended up making him like mass smarter or something. That's what I'm saying. That makes no like so you tell So me. it like it impaired him, you know. <laughs> Physically. You know, you see what you see what he looks like. You see what he is. <laughs> you know, yeah, if you know, you know. <laughs> you see what he is. You know, that, that, you know bro. Uh, but um But the nigga's still smart. You look he'll tell you what the freaking what the the meaning of life is or something. You bro. think he was getting busy, bro? I don't know. I don't think his body parts work like that. So I think so. Like I feel like what. So was the thing connected to his brain and whatever he thought would just come out on the computer? I think that's what because he wasn't typing. There's no way he was typing all that shit, bro. Yeah, nah. That's what I'm saying. There's that technology. Um, it was like connected to him. Yeah, like like his brain or some whatever shit. Whatever he thought or something like that. Yeah, I think I don't know how it worked. That nigga was really like a talking vegetable, bro. That's tough. Yo. <laughs> That's tough. All right, bro. I got I got another question. So pick two to erase from pick two to erase from the world, but whichever ones you don't pick, they will double in the world. All right. So so pick the two yeah. To so pick erase. two. Yeah, I got four things. All so right. it's mosquitoes, serial killers, tsunamis, or hurricanes. <clears throat> um, pick two to erase from the world completely. Well, <laughs> do I want to help the people or do I want to help what's going to save more lives? Hey, it's, well, it's up to you, but the world's in your hands. <laughs> you know, the right guy would say serial killers. I'm not saying serial killers. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, why? That's, oh like, the, why? that's like the least like oh scary why? thing on here. Uh, 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 definitely, <laughs> I would get rid of freaking hurricanes. That's a good one. Hurricanes, I think, is probably the worst out of everything. Worse than tsunami. Tsunamis, bro. A tsunami. A hurricane happens more than tsunamis. Is like a a tsunami could be inside a hurricane, low key. Yeah, that's also if, star, if stuff starts to flood, like yeah, like bro, it was it was flooding like. But I'm talking. That. I'm talking like a big ass wave, my nigga. <laughs> Imagine that shit doubles. That's just more frequent. Imagine we at the beach, you see a big ass wave. We dead. Yeah, but like tsunamis, they're not. They don't. They're definitely not often. They're not often. as hurricanes. There's yeah. literally, literally hurricane season. Yeah, there's a hurricane season. That's true. That's and a- there be freaking <laughs> winds, freaking everything. It's like a. It's like a freaking tornado mixed with a tsunami is a hurricane. All right, so hurricane and um. 
Oh wait, you said everything else doubles though. Yeah, everything doubles. I Damn. Mean, I mean serial that killers means, be doubling. <laughs> Damn, serial killers. That means tsunamis doubling. Yeah, bro. That I, means earthquakes doubling too. Nah, just tsunamis and hur- hur- uh, hurricanes. <clears throat> um. I, Man, I'm getting rid of them dang mosquitoes. I am too, too bro. bro. I them like, they they kill mad people and diseases. Niggas don't know, bro. Like, they kill more people than any animal in, in the, the world, world bro. Niggas, just just from transferring something to one another. So bro. imagine that shit doubled, nigga. We not gonna be able to go to some countries, bro. Oh no, nah, mosquitoes doubled. There's already like more than a billion mosquitoes. So it's like three billion, two billion. Nah, it's over. Just imagine them. Just, just, they're gonna be <laughs> overpopulated. Yeah, we're gonna be done up, bro. You know, there's like, like. You never, you know how it gets like cold over here, right? Yeah. Like, um, and then like supposedly all the bugs go away, bro. You know, like mosquitoes being like all temperatures, bro. Like, like, like I was looking at documentaries, bro. Like, you would think they die in like Alaska, bro, where all them the moose be at and all them big. Dear, there be mad mosquitoes, oh. mad mosquitoes. I'm like, bro, they live in the cold. They live in the warm. They literally live everywhere. So like, they don't be dying? I thought they die in the wintertime. Bro, no, like, it be mad cold up there. I'm like, bro, you think there's no bugs? You see mad mosquitoes. I'm like, yeah. bro, it's like mad cold outside. How is that possible? Do you, bro. What do you think they be living on? They living like on the imagine they be living on the animals type shit. Bro, I think that's really what they do. Like, yeah, like they there's keep... so many. There's so many. Like, bro, watch like a Alaska documentary or just somewhere where it's cold, bro. Mm-hmm. And you see mad uh like like sheep type of animals and stuff. They got like, like little deer. bugs on them and shit. Bro, you're gonna see mad mosquitoes. You're gonna be like, What? I didn't even know. I thought them niggas really died, bro. That's what I'm saying. So now nah, I gotta kill them niggas off, but imagine <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> them niggas just go be Yeah. I'm, like, you ever see, like, like locusts, bruh? Yeah. Like, them little locusts, little storms? Imagine that shit, like, mosquitoes, bruh. my nigga. Nah. We already got to get rid of those. Yo, you know, I seen a, a, a thing, too. It was, like, um, it said if every spider in the world freaking teamed up, it could kill, like, like <laughs> every human. Really? Yeah. Like, if all the spiders really teamed up in the world. Like as in like got together like uh, like we do and unite. Yeah, I could see that like, though. Cause a lot of them are really poisonous. Yeah, that's a what lot, I'm saying. They got a lot of ones that are really poisonous, and like just imagine you grab all the poisonous ones, and like some of the poisonous ones, like just one of them, like the most poisonous one could kill like mad people. That's like, what I'm like saying. a little bit of their poison. Mm-hmm. So like, and they, imagine be, and they, they like they be like, like this big. They not yeah. big ass spiders. But think about it though, spiders. Yeah, they're like that that creature that there's like there's so many of them. There's like do you got small ones, then you got some big ones. I'm not yeah, gonna know. Like lie. you ever seen the little co- what was it the um like the bird eating spider? Yo, the shit that be eating birds. Some of bro? them are huge, that shit's bro. Like this big, like the size like the laptop. Nah, that nah, I can't do that, bro. See, that's why that's why God nerfed them niggas, bro. God be nerfing all the animals because if we didn't have our brains, bro, we'd be dead. Hey, bro, we are the we are the we are the most higher intelligence. So that. imagine a spider had the intelligence of a human, bro. Oh no, nah. we, we would dead. we would be <laughs> we dead, we would bro. Be just spider world. Hey, but but just to go back in the question, I'm gonna get rid of mosquitoes and hurricanes. Yeah, same. I think that's a, I think that's the clear cut one, bro. That's not too bad, that's bro. That's valid. That's valid. All right, all right. So so with animals, right? So so we were talking about animals, right? Mm-hmm. So you're trapped in a thirty by thirty room, being attacked, but you have brass knuckles. Which animal would you rather be? A bald eagle, a chimpanzee, an elk, or a coyote. <clears throat> I heard from Joe Rogan, elks is like strong as shit. I'm not gonna lie, like, bro, any sort of freaking deer, deer is strong. So wait, what are the animals again? Damn. It's a it's a bald eagle, bald a chim- eagle. a chimpanzee, an elk, or a coyote. I might take the coyote. I'm taking the coyote. I was about to say that. On I can't. Everything. I'm not. That eagle, it's just gonna be flying around. And That's just gonna scratching be, your eyes. Yeah, bro. and their their wingspan is low key mad, like mad long. And low their key. and their freaking their nails are like as long as my fingers, basically. So yeah, they kill, that thing killing me, bro. Yeah, that's they strong keep as hell around. too. Yeah, they could really like try to they really rip d- pieces of my <laughs> skin off. You seen like videos? Like I seen a video of an eagle like flying. I, I think it was like a goat. Like it picked it up and it dropped it from mad high. 
in Canada. Bro, yeah, nigga. that's cheese. Like them niggas is strong as shit. They can really pick up babies. Yeah. Nah, bro. Yeah, it's dangerous. I can't a chimp, bro. Not nah, chimps. Nah. Well, uh, nah. I I don't want to fight that. Though. <laughs> I don't want to fight. That nigga's too like big, bro. Gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna be beating him because I got the brass knuckles, but he's gonna be tight and he's just gonna be using his chin powers. I heard that nigga's like the strength of like ten niggas. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> if he hits me, if I hit him hard, he's gonna get tight and just try to like use his adrenaline to go crazy. So yeah. I don't want to do that. Yes, yeah, so I think it like might... coyote. Coyote's like it's like a it's like a small decent sized dog. Yeah, like a like a boomer, <laughs> like skinny though. Yeah, an skinny, agile boomer. <laughs> but that nigga. They might have rabies though. That's Does he saying. have rabies though? I don't Please know. No. I don't know. It, yeah, gotta, it, it could be a possibility. He's gonna be biting the fuck out of you. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I know. Like, he's gonna be biting the fuck out of you. <laughs> like it might be deed. But <sighs> what was the other one or an elk? It was an elk. Nah, cause he's just gonna start running, ram- at ramming me, and I have yo. nowhere to go. Thirty by thirty. That's... I know. I think that might be a little, maybe the same size as, maybe a little bigger than this room. But still, though, an uh, elk, bro, that's... No, nah, I'm not going to be able to run nowhere. He's just going to be, be running, into, running into me. Nah, I think the coyote... I don't want to fight the coyote, but I feel like that nigga... He's the one that's really going to really bite the shit yeah. out of me, though. That's the only bad thing, bro. Oh, I my just God. Gotta, yeah, just got to get, get him out of here. What animal you think we could take down, like, as, like, a group, like, our friend group? Like, if there was one animal that we had to choose, like, we, there was, like, eight of us... Mm-hmm. What what's one animal you choose that we can like take down like with our bare hands? Eight of us bare hands. You think we could take down a panda bear? You said a panda bear? <laughs> Imagine niggas. How bear. big do they? They get pretty big. They get though, pretty. Bro. They get decently big. They fat. They fat as shit. But what is these? They get like don't they get like four hundred pounds? Hold on, bro? let me five hundred pounds. Let me look it up right now. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. If they Sorry. get like five hundred pounds. Dang. Size of a panda bear, panda. I don't want to fight any bear, really. They could get he to gets me, two to three feet at the shoulders. Length six to. T- they like two eighty. Only three hundred pounds. Three hundred pounds. I think, man, we can. Oh, be, we could take that. We, we could beat up a panda that. bear. I thought they were way bigger. They look a little too cuddly, bro. I'll beat that nigga. Ass, bro. <laughs> Yo, there's like what eight, nine of us. We yeah. could take down a panda bear. We could probably take down a. You think we can take down a hyena, bro? Hyena, bro. The f- whoever he grabs, he's breaking up, your yeah. bones. They, they have one of the strongest bones. Like bites? bites yeah, yeah, they do. Oh, my. Ah, yeah, that's kind of deed. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to freaking fight that. I mean, it, yeah, they don't really get big. We could definitely fight it, but. But some, whoever gets bit, that nigga done up. That nigga might, not, might lose a hand, bro. Either that. No, I think we could fight a lot of animals, but we would just we would just lose some guys. Some <laughs> while fighting, you know. Some niggas going we down. We might be bro. able to fight. We might be able to fight some 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 cats. I ain't gonna lie. Like some what kind of cats? Ca- like what kind of cats? Like a like maybe a, like a mountain lion. I ain't okay, a lie. mountain lion. That's a good but one. But some people would get messed oh up. My. I'll I'll probably get messed up. I ain't gonna. Lie. <laughs> I would get hella scratched. I would oh, get scratched. Somebody will get mauled. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's gonna. But I mean if. All eight of us jump on that. Boy? That's what I'm saying. Nah. <laughs> might, be a, a, might be able to get a beat a jaguar. Ooh. Ooh. Somebody's really gonna get messed up. Somebody <laughs> might die. Somebody <laughs> might die from that. A jaguar. Somebody bro? might die from that because because they be eating in the in the jungle. They're like they're like. Yeah, they're like the line of the jungle. Like they be eating everything. They even sometimes eat like alligators. I know. And I stuff. They like, be they like, eat everything. They be bringing like, them niggas up the trees and yeah, shit. Yeah, like even deer, they'll bring up a tree. That means they could bring like us, us up. up. A tree nah, they low. could definitely bring us up. A, nah. That's what I'm saying. Somebody might die, but we, <laughs> we can fight. We can fight that. But honestly, if it starts to go, it won't get past the jaguar though. Yeah, I, I think that's like the biggest one. Like that, the most like lethal one. Everything else might be slow. I might. Think we can do a cheetah. Nah, wait, not nah, cheetahs. Low key pussy though. They just run. They fast. just mad fast. <laughs> really, I don't think they really be fight. Like hunt. I be seeing cheetahs get fucked up like a lot. Yeah, they just they just use their speed. But they be still get do a can- cheetah. But anything past like a jaguar, I think it's done up. Yeah, definitely no tiger line. Nah, nah. hell no. Tigers are too. We're big, gonna. Bro. Everybody's gonna get die. done up. <laughs> everybody's, everybody's gonna, gonna die. done up. Tiger, everybody's gonna die. tigers max. No grizzly and a bear. lion too. What a uh. Now an ostrich, we could, we we made him an ostrich, bro. Bro, that should kick you. It's done. <laughs> One kick yeah, to the chest, yeah. bro. I think we could. Ah, that's not too bad. 
Ostrich, see, I think yeah, I think you're right. The, that the Jaguars a good like um, a good like tier, like a good level, bro. That's not yeah, too crazy. Somebody, somebody, somebody is gonna die in the Jaguars. <laughs> if they're not gonna die, somebody's gonna almost die. Yeah, then. somebody gonna be on the brink, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, bro. But I think if we all jump him. Yeah, he's clipped. He's super clipped. Hey, bro. But what? All right, nah, that's od. And oh, I, I got another thing I want to talk about. So like I, I was watching this, I was reading this thing the other day about um there was thirty five like fully armed dolphins that escaped during Hurricane Katrina. Hmm. Yo, bro, this is what I I thought it was fake. You I lo- said armed what? Armed dolphins. So the, on some Sharknado stuff. Yeah, bro. So I guess the I guess the government or like the Navy was able to train dolphin to like have darts on their back to like train them to f- shoot at any like terrorist or like like um suicide bomber in the water. So when Hurricane Katrina came, 35 of them shits got let loose into the Gulf of Mexico. So they had to tell everybody like, yo, like if you're a, a swimmer, fisher, swimmer, surfer, like you might these dolphins got like they had darts on their back. Like I looked up a whole article about that shit. Ain't no way. So it made me think like you think like like what other animals you think would be good for like war because I heard like they use dolphins and seals to go like to the depths of like ocean to retrieve shit like the army and shit like they'll train them to do shit like that. Uh, honestly, dang anything for war. Like what? Like what? You be a like a cheese ass animal? Because I mean, you know, back in the days they used to use fucking like elephants like in India like for like war like elephants as tanks. Are, elephants are tough. I don't think elephants. it'll work now. I ain't, you gonna kill an elephant, bro? I mean, yeah, I'm a RPG dash. That That's shit. what I'm saying. Yeah, that shit done up now, but um, Loki, I think eagles is cheese, bro. Have them drop little grenades, bro. Send in yeah. a flock of eagles and just have them drop grenades or some shit like that. But I don't know. I feel like nowadays there's just so much technology. Like people are gonna. I'm surprised they haven't made like. I mean. They can make robot steak. Why don't they just make like robot animals or some shit? I think they do. Like, like you said, it could be any animal. Yeah, you could do it to cheese, but as soon as somebody snipes the hell out that dang eagle, then that He's eagle's dead. Yeah, yeah, like he could be a nice eagle. He could probably have hella kills. Somebody's gonna, <laughs> somebody's gonna get him eventually. Yeah. Though. See, like, like but if you have a robot eagle, that's some cheese, like. Come like, on now, like like type he could Falcon sense, type he, shit. Like he could like sense when he's about to get shot or something. Like that's, but I feel like I feel like they do that now, but they just don't tell us. I feel like yeah, they do probably. it for like surveillance though. Oh, definitely, bro. They got little bugs, bro. Like bugs. either like like flies. Bro, like look, flies. they definitely got a couple flies. That's a bro, that's a, flies, bro. I seen, bro. You seen Spy Kids, bro? Yeah, they got them, bro. That little fly thing is real, bro. I'm about to buy one, bro. See where I can buy. A fly? <laughs> they be talking about pigeons as like surveillance cameras. Hey, bro. You ever any, seen a baby any... pigeon, bro? No. <laughs> Maybe you ever like you ever seen pigeons on like the the power lines, bro? See them everywhere. That's what I'm saying. But aren't the power lines like electric? Like you yeah. can't. So like, how the fuck they can sit sit on them shits? They said them niggas be charging up there, bro. Basically, they're chargers. <laughs> they're conductors, basically. I don't know, bro. They say they be talking about freaking uh, pigeons being uh, surveillance cameras. I don't know about all that shit, but like if the if the government had freaking dolphins with dart guns, bro, they could definitely got some type of robot yeah, animal. Nah, bro. If, they, if they was able to control like freaking freaking whales, like, killer 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 whales, whales od. Nah. They would win the ocean. That's they would OD. Win that's like killer fucking whales. <laughs> no, nothing could beat them. Nothing can beat them. That's too cheese, bro. That's like fucking Atlantis. They that's freaking, like they Aquaman. Freaking eat sharks and shit, bro. There's nothing beating. There's nothing beating them. <laughs> too like, OP. Like even what are the animals? Like I remember they like they use a lot of like robot animals for like hunting. Mm-hmm. Like they put them in the woods and shit like that. And they put. I remember they put like a. It was like a. It was like a robot deer, as like surveillance cameras in the woods. So like when nigga like say it's outside See, that'll like, be scary as shit. Like just imagine like it's outside like a prison. Say somebody escaped. You got like you, they got they got all eyes on you, my nigga. Or what if they try to stake out somebody, put a little robot deer out in the crib, bro. Outside so in the it woods, it just bro. looks like a real deer. Looks but like it's a actually, real deer, but a fake. No, that's that's, like, they got that's, a lot of that's shit like that. trippy. I'll be scared. Hey, bro, I ain't I ain't with all that, bro. But <clears throat> you want to do the Smash Bros. draft, bro? You got your list ready? Yeah. You you want me to send you? Like, I found like some shit on online. If you want a, a list of people, uh, I bet. All right, I'll send it to your phone. But people, what we about to do? We about to do a draft with so, all the Smash Bros characters. So let us know who won in the draft. Let us know in the comments who won. Let us know if we missed anybody. 
I'm like O for like, bro. I'm like O for like eight, bro. Hold on, Smash Bros. Characters list. And you play? You you still be playing Smash Bros. a lot, bro? Um, not really. No. Oh, you don't play Smash Bros. no more. You and Jordan sometimes. Used to be, oh, sometimes. Um, with Jordan, but nah, I don't see. I don't. I don't be playing. I don't be playing games like that. Like that. Hey, I guess it's even because I haven't played it in a minute either. But I don't even know who cheese no more. <laughs> All right, I just sent you this shit. So you know how I was gonna go. We just gonna go draft style. So me and you go first. So I, I let you pick because I let you pick first, my brother. So who who is your first pick mm. of the draft, bro? I let you look through for a second. <clears throat> oh. I think my Dang, all these guys. You remember how most of them played, though, right? Of course. See that's see that's that's good though. But here, it's one of those games that like it depends on the player. Yeah, like I'm not gonna lie, everybody in the game is really is really cheese. But shout out to the guys my man's freaking lotus and spooji that i be playing with yes sir let me hear it bro um i hope you don't take my picks bro because i don't no, i'm not gonna take your picks you didn't see now you might bro cause i got some cheese on here man I'm, I'm starting out with my guy that i be playing with my boy uh my boy Mewtwo. Okay. My boy Mewtwo. All right, all right, all right. Let me let me write this down. So Mewtwo first round, first overall pick. Mew. That's a weird ass name. All right, my first overall pick. I'm gonna pick Kirby, bro. Yo, I'm my, pick- <laughs> my man's told me to pick him too. <laughs> Dang, Lotus, I folded. I yeah, folded my nigga Lotus. Kirby, cheese, bro. He's Kirby. a little cheese. Man, he's, that was a nigga that was left alive in the campaign. Mm-hmm. That's tough. Um, what's that's what's your second pick, pick brother? Um, t- 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 my second pick is freaking. Um, hmm. shout out to Spooji. Um, Pac Man. Dang. All right, that's not too crazy. That's not too bad. Yeah, he's a sleeper. If he's, you know, you know. My son che- Jordan be going cheese with him. <laughs> he be cheese. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so for my second pick, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Meta Knight, bro. Mm. Meta Knight's like a this is like a good duo, bro. Meta Knight and Kirby. You know what I'm saying? Meta Knight Kirby. That's cool. That's all right. That's cool. I might have folded. I might have folded. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I might have folded. You two with Pac Man so Oh, oh I, I already know. And then my next one, um King K Rule. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, all right, freaking, I thought that freaking alligator cheese. Alright, alright, alright. Hold on. Let me go. Let me look at the shit again. You say King K Rule? I bet. Yeah, bruh. My third pick. Would be my third pick is Captain Falcon. Mm, Jeez, that's a good that pick. Falcon punch go crazy. I ain't gonna lie. If you use that shit correctly, yeah, 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 yeah. But if now, you miss your mid, now I gotta pick a. Uh, now, now I gotta pick. I gotta pick Ganondorf now. Cause, all right, because you picked freaking Captain <laughs> Falcon. <laughs> all right, all right. I pick Ganondorf now. Okay, okay, okay. Dang, my freaking shit full of heavy hitters, bro. Like, they'll really beat your ass. All right, you want to say heavy hitters? My fourth round pick, I got Bowser, bro. Yo. <laughs> I know. Yo, yeah, I, I, know. To, I know, bro. I know, bro. Damn. Bowser, fourth round pick, bro. I know. Don't you be using Bowser a lot, bro? Yeah, Cheesing to, with that I nigga. I was about to say that. All right, bro. What's, what's your last pick, bro? My last pick. I'm going to go out with a banger. Um. I can't miss, bro. I always be fucking up with the last pick. Well, I'm gonna go with a, uh, I'm gonna go with the OG on this. Forgot, um, Samus. Damn. Eee! Damn. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. Shit. See, my last pick I got in here. I'm kind of nervous. I forgot about. This. Damn. Oh, let me look. Let me look real quick. All right, so Damn, for my, my team full of cheesers, you are, you're freaking annihilated. <laughs> so for my last pick, I will choose. 
Oh, what the fuck? I'm going to choose. All right, so for my last pick, I'll choose. I'll choose one of my favorites from my from a kid when I used to play on the Wii. I'm choosing Fox, bro. Mm-hmm. Fox, Fox I'm choosing is Fox. clean. Fox who, wait, who was the one that you wanted? To, you was gonna pick? Hmm? You said I missed. You was you was gonna pick somebody else? No. Nah, oh, that. Nah. So you stick when you with, picked uh, Bowser. I was I was thinking about Bowser. Okay, I'm surprised you didn't pick Bowser early. You freaking be using Bowser OD. Yeah, that's tough. But let us know in the comments who won in the draft, bro. I think this might be a little even, bro. I don't know. Let us know if we missed anybody. I was going to say freaking, um, I was going to say, uh, what's the motherfucker? I, I, know, I know mad people probably going to say the hype beast characters like Mario, Luigi. Yeah. Freaking. Nah, Link, there's mad characters that we did miss though. Yeah. Link is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yoshi's cheese, Donkey Kong. Yeah, no, I was mad, about to say Donkey mad, Kong. Mad cheese, mad cheese is left. Damn, that's tough. I heard, I should, I was going to get a little Mac. Little like, Mac. Man. A little Mac and a little two cheese, bro. Yeah. But we'll see. Let us know in the comments who won the draft. Let us know if we're missing anybody. But I think I got I got another question we could talk about. Mm-hmm. So I seen something. They said NASA, like, you'll be able to live on the moon in ten in the next 10 years. Living on the moon. Yeah. And it will only take three days to get to the moon. So now my question is, if that if the opportunity ever presented itself to live on the moon, would you go live there? Well, I got to live there forever. You know, you can live there for a couple. It's like it's like you go live in like Delaware. You can live there a couple months. You come back, type shit. Would you go live on the moon? I'll do it for a very short time. I would just go try it out. I'm not really, gonna lie. I don't think I'll go up there, bro. I feel like my spaceship going to explode. I'm gonna be that. There's no way every spaceship gonna be cool. Like safe flights up there, bro. It's a three day trip. Three day trip. Some shit might happen, bro. You never know. <laughs> I don't know if I could get, go up How there. How do you even keep track of time in there, though? That's what I'm saying. Like, is there even time up in space for real? Yeah, but I guess you never really know because the no, sun is not really setting or That's what anything. I'm saying. Like, And, like, the, the moon you just, don't... Like, you just feel it, I guess. I mean, the moon don't, moon don't even rotate. Yeah, so you don't really know. So you could just I be... I don't know a, how you keep track of time. You, it'd probably just be, like, like sunlight all day unless you want to go to the dark side and it's nighttime all day. Yeah, that's creepy. Nah, I can't see. I I can't do shit like that, bro. But like, why yeah, would I? I don't know if I would go. Actually, but, I don't know. But why would anybody want to live on the moon, unless like some shit about to happen to the Earth? Then I, that's the only way I'm gonna go up there. If, like we about to die. We have to. Yeah, if we have to, like say we got like an escape plan, I'll 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 try to get on the plane or on the spaceship out of here. But that's the only way. If my life really depends on it. If not, yeah, I don't know. Actually, I really don't know. Nah, uh, I'm thinking about it now. Damn. Probably not. Like, it seems cool. Like, you ever watch them videos of, like, jackass where they go, like, so high and they could do, like, zero gravity? That looked kind of fun. Yeah. But um, I'm low-key scared of heights. That that would scare me. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, being in a... Just floating zero gravity, that would just freak me out. Because I can't <laughs> control. I can't control if I just... If I'm just hella spinning yeah. in space, I'm just going to, like, freak out. Like, nah. Oh. Mad anxiety. But why would stuff. they? But why would they even like? Like ten years is not that long, bro. We gonna be like thirty niggas gonna be on the moon like fucking Jetsons, my nigga. That is very soon. Like we get it. We starting to advance a little quicker than I thought. I'm not gonna lie. No, extremely, like, extremely. Like you see, all the freaking. We already got self driving cars and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I seen in San Francisco they're starting to do like they're making like robot cops, and like they could kill people on like. I'm not stopping for no dang robot. You're God, not gonna stop for bro. a robot, bro. Hell no. Bro, them niggas is trained to shoot, bro. Bro, I'm a freaking. So that means, that, dang, that means if you kill the robot, that's technically a killing a cop, cop, bro. That's nuts. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's like a, it's like a, like a. Remote if them con- things malfunction, they just shoot me to shoot me, bro. And then that's the robot apocalypse, my nigga. It's deed up. Like I seen a video of a robot doing like parkour See, shit, bro, and then it's gonna be it's gonna be um, it's gonna be gangs and stuff. It's gonna be a like, gang of like, robots. Like, no, it's gonna be oh. like people uh, against the robots. Oh, like they're mercenaries gonna, and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, they're gonna be like robots, K, bro. See, that's why I don't I don't want the world to go that way. I don't want the I don't and want robots to join our group, bro. We we hate these police ass robots. They're <laughs> just gonna go around murking them. See, I just think too much technology isn't a good thing. Like, I feel like you need some leeway where some people, you know, break laws and shit like here and there. They said we're getting uh, worse and worse. They said um, 
Yeah. With the technology. Yeah, like we're getting too much dependent on it. That's what I'm saying. People get more lazy. Like I feel yeah, like even nowadays, like yeah, it's cool. I like all the new it's cool inventions and stuff that come out, but I still be trying to do stuff like like just regular stuff every now and then. That's so. what I'm saying. Like, you know, go outside, like be active. Like niggas, like quarantine really had niggas in the crib just figure out Mad new technology. technology. Yeah, just things. Like it's oh it's like it's pretty like maybe like what what do you think robots will be fine at? Like maybe like in the factories or some shit like that. I feel like robots are just fine where when they have no more than just simple tasks. That's what like, I'm saying. I don't think they should be cops, bro. When they when they when they have chances to decide what is good and bad, like then that's even if you program it what is good and bad, like there's still gonna be those times where you're gonna have an in the middle situation mm-hmm. and then you know the robot you don't know what the robot's gonna pick. Yeah, that's true. Hey, but once that if, if they really put like because I've seen robots like videos of robots that actually do like parkour and shit like niggas did box jumps. Like they're getting See, a little agile, nuts. my nigga. That's nuts. They're that's getting a little agile, bro. You could really get right with that. That man's gonna start dodging the every. Nigga, the nigga did a backflip. I swear to God, bro. I don't know if it's CGI or fake, but it was a robot that did a backflip. Bro, you gonna freaking you gonna freaking try to swing on him? Cuz gonna freaking do a triple backflip on you. That's I don't know, bro. But all right, I got a question for you, right? Mm-hmm. So there's a seventy percent chance you will live. The government is going to pay you $50,000 a month Mm -hmm. to be frozen in like a chamber, like to, for science, you know, when they freeze your bodies and shit like that, but there's a 70 chance, 70% chance you'll live 30% chance you'll die. Mm -hmm. How long would you stay frozen for 50 K a month? 50 K a month. Yeah, bro. Dang. Um, Dang, I ain't gonna lie. I would need, I would need to stay in there a minute for some breach. That's what I'm saying. You gotta stay in there for like at least a, a year. Probably be like, what? Uh, that's six hundred k. That's like six hundred k. That's like being in a freaking coma. I yeah, know. I don't want to be in there that long. I might just a year. I might just take maybe four months. Two hundred k. Two hundred k light. No, how much? How much? How much? Fifty k a month have to be uh for a million. How long a would little, that have to be? a little less than two years. So like a year and like four months. Jeez. I might do that. A year and four months. Damn. I'm gonna forget hell this shit. You it's are, a year and a half though, but I'm gonna be up that mill. You gonna be up with the mill, bro? You like, you like fucking. I'm gonna invest that. I'm gonna be like, yeah, bro. That year and a half. Hey, bro. I lost that. You whatever happened that year and a half. I'm no. sorry. But <laughs> I got money for everybody. We up everybody. now. Hey, we we about to be up now. You would you would invest that bread? Hell yeah. What would I'm you invest it into though? T- I'm gonna buy something that's gonna start slowly making me some bread. Probably some house or something. I would do that too. A I'll lot of people start buy, doing that. I'll definitely buy a house. A nice house for like shoot, not, not even no million dollar house. Probably something for like four hundred K. A couple hundred thousand, yeah. yeah. Some nice John though. And then yeah, I'm uh, just renting out probably. I think that's a smart thing to do. Would you go in the south, or would you chill up around here? I might go south, honestly. That get shit some cheaper. Get some mansion looking house for like five hundred k. Not get even some, that shit might be like three hundred. Hey, it's gonna look like a mansion, and it wasn't even a million dollars. Hey, and that's true, bro. Yeah, and I'm taxing. I'm taxing. You taxing that shit? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do it nice though. I'm gonna do it nice. You gonna make it like an Airbnb type shit? Yup. That's smart. That's smart. Yep. Smart investor. Smart investor. Hey, listen to us, people. I might get. I was thinking about getting my real estate license. Yeah, bro. It's not that. Not that difficult. It's not that difficult. You just gotta take classes. Really you gotta quickly, pass a class. Yeah. I just feel like it's good to have a lot of licenses. Like my you know, cousin, uh, be doing it in Florida. Shout out to her and stuff. She be doing it. What, like selling, reselling houses and shit? Yeah, like she's an agent. She be looking at nice homes and stuff, making them making them sales. That's not bad. She works for an agency or she works by herself? Uh, I think she be doing like both. both oh, okay, that's both. not bad. Did she do like Airbnbs and shit? Uh, no, nah, just, just houses. Just, oh, just there. actual homes? Yeah. That's not too bad. I Very was tough. I was thinking about getting like uh, vending machines too, like investing in vending machines. Yeah, I heard vending machines is bread, bro. Like yeah, they're expensive. That's the only thing. It's a great thing, 
great thing, but even to start off with it, you need hella bread. And it's probably like what, like ten k? Yeah, things are thousands of dollars. And then you gotta pay like a rack. Now maybe you probably got. You gotta pay where to hold it. You gotta. And pay they gotta the pay people. for the food in there. Yeah. So it might be. But nah, the food's probably the easiest part though, like, bro. Like you go, it. you go to freaking Costco and go crazy. You, you could, know, yeah. You know the shits at Costco, bro. They that, be that's that's bulk. what most of them be doing, it. or a lot of them. You know, a lot of people do now too. Uh, Amazon. You know why Amazon is so crazy? Because people are able to sell it for whatever price. Like, I know. I've seen that. Like you can go on Amazon and buy stuff from somebody or a store, mm-hmm. and you could buy for mad for the low, rather than it'll be at your local supermarket for like mad bread. That's what I'm saying. And like even on Amazon, you can um, what my uncle does like he sells like he used to sell. He told me like a minute ago he used to sell um. Like beauty supplies, and he'll buy it from overseas for like four or five dollars, and sell it for like thirty eight on like on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Like like a lot of people be doing that shit. Like they'll buy like a little bit of products. Like they'll buy like a um like one of these like adapters for like two like they'll it takes like it makes like five cents to make them overseas in like China. Ship them here, sell for like twelve dollars. That's Mad a come, up. That's a come up, bro. That's really a come up. Maybe one, maybe in the future when shit goes, out. I want like you know you need to have a lot of sources. Yeah, that's of what I'm saying. It's it's stuff to do. Like when you have money, it's it's when you have a lot of money, it's it's easy. It's easy to make more money. You just got to put into the right things. That's what I'm things saying. Things that you know, you a lot of people don't know. So yeah, that's why. I, that's I, why I, they buy just random things shit. that are nice, things that think they mean value, but. It really don't got value to it. If it's real. not making you no money, is it really doing anything for you? That's facts, bro. That's some real shit. That's what I'm saying. Niggas would like go for the chains, go for the nice cars, but really, yeah. you put that shit on some in a vet, That's what I'm saying. Even the nice business. cars. The nice cars is only something you do when you're super, super up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You should super. That up, shouldn't be your first right. purchase. I be seeing niggas with fucking Teslas and living like freaking little ass, little ass cribs, bro. Like if you don't buy a crib with that. Freaking bruh. twenty thousand dollar down payment, bro. That's what I'm saying. They be having nice cars and niggas be having Teslas with no garages and still be living <laughs> living with their parents or whatever. I but mean, I I was talking about this with UJ. What do you think is the the proper age to leave like to dip out your crib? Like, what do you think is like the maximum age you should stay living with your parents? Um, maximum age. Cause me personally, like in like a Filipino culture household. Like, your parents really don't let people leave, leave unless, like, you're really, like, financially ready for that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Once you, are once you like, settle down with all that shit, then they'll be like, all right. But if they don't see you, then they're going to be like, they're going to be like, no, just stay here. Well, it's okay. Like, you can go work. You can work. Just pay a little bit of rent here and there and shit like that. I, I don't mean I'm going to do that. I'm just going to, mm-hmm. whenever I'm financially stable and ready to, like, get my own, like, apartment, then that's when I'll probably. Yeah, that's facts. Because, like, yeah, bro, no, nah, it's, it's. It's freaking. But like, but like, if you see like a thirty year old dude living with his parents, like, what would you think about it? Um, making seventy five k a year. All right, maybe he has a plan. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's just doing it to. It depends how long. He's you know how yeah. long how has he been making that bread? I say he, he just, just got he just, it. He been working probably. He been working for two years. He just got promoted. Two years. Um. I f- All look, right, but look, I feel like if he has, if you start, if you having a kid, that's when you got to dip. Oh yeah, like say oh. you have a like you have a girlfriend, you have a kid now. That you need a crib. Oh now. yeah, there's yeah. no way you can't yeah. put down your parents, bro. Oh yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Yeah, besides financially stable, you know, as soon as um you bring life into this, yeah, I definitely feel like that's when you need. To, that's uh, that's like the push. Like, I right, you know what? Now I need. I can't be. Like maybe unless like you're helping your parents like like pay for yeah the crib. unless you're helping them pay for it or they need you and that's cool yeah yeah it's cool. that's fine but like if you like if they're good and you're ready you got the money to do it and you're just like not ready to take that step you gotta like yeah just just no just a little nudge like it's okay mm-hmm. everybody everybody gonna fall down nowadays here and there it's okay it happens bro you fall down you get back up shit like that shit happens bro word but word but i got one last thing bro mm-hmm. i got i got one last segment so if you guys are new to the channel we got urban Le- we got urban legends from each state so comment your state down below if you want your new urban you want your urban legend from your own state so this week we got uh georgia so georgia <laughs> so i was i was I actually got this from drewski 
Drewski. Because you remember when he used to watch on YouTube, like his uh, YouTube channel with his boy, they went to like a, a lake and they did like a little freaking, um, like a camping trip, like the first yeah, episode. Bro, I would love to do some shit like that. That's, That's what I'm saying. Lit. That but, shit was so fun. But I realized it's called, so the place is called Lake Lanier and it's like one of the most haunted like places in like Georgia. That's where they went? Yeah, they went there, bro. Mm-hmm. So supposedly, so this is what happened, right? So back in like the 40s, before the lake, there was a town called Quakersville and it was like a African-American town and like all the surrounding towns was all white. So then I guess they didn't like the the black people and stuff like that. So they started like blaming them for stuff. They started arresting them. And then the people of the town made like a, a group of like separatists and they would like run the people out of the town. They would kill them and they'll just run them out their homes until there was no bar, no more people there. And then in like the 1940s, 50s, that's when Georgia got like a some a settlement from the from the country to make that area into a lake. So they instead of bulldozing all the freaking buildings and all the churches, they filled the they flooded the whole place. So like underneath the lake, like Lake Lanier, there's like a whole town like still like intact. Like there's a there's there's um there's houses. So this is all underwater. There's all underwater. There's houses, schools. There's even there's like a there's like a big ass cemetery. And there's like there's like a thousands of bodies underneath the lake and they say like when you go on the lake like ever since they made the lake in like the 1950s there's been 700 like deaths at the lake either from accidents like boating accidents say like you crash boating fires or like people drowning like people like report like a lot of swimmers like they're really strong you know people that go out swimming and shit a lot of strong swimmers they they report saying that they feel like somebody's like grabbing their legs and getting pulling them on the water. Going swimming in That's that what I'm saying. So like the whole legend is that the the ghosts or like the spirits of like the bodies that was under there is like pulling people and drowning them. And they all go fishing in there though. I ain't fishing that <laughs> shit, my nigga. You got me fucked up, bro. Somebody going ghost gonna grab my dang hook and nigga, shit. Nigga, that shit <laughs> nigga, you gonna see you gonna see something tugging at your line. That ain't no fish, my nigga. Yo. That shit gonna get your ass. <laughs> but I but I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like shit like that. Like remember remember when you said you and Jordan went to like this creepy ass like place in South Jersey or was it South Jersey? It was like within the woods and shit where you had no connection. Oh yeah. How was that, bro? Yeah, um, like, that was lit. Um, what was that? It was like, bro, that's what I'm saying. New Jersey is so crazy, bro. There's so many, so many different parts of New Jersey. Like, I know we live in like the most populated part. And we have, <coughs> we have everything. Like, we have everything from farmland. We have the city life. We have the suburbs. Yeah, like, we're like in the middle. Like, we city have, suburbs. we have the forest. Mm-hmm. Like, we have everything, bro. So. Me, Jordan, and my boy, Lotus, freaking, um, we like to go freaking hiking and stuff. So then I tried to put them on this one place. Was it the one where Basking Ridge, where you almost fell down the cliff? Nah, that nah, was it was something, um, that was, OD. that was crazy. It was, um, it was something I went with my, uh, with my ex. It was like this. There's waterfall, but um, you could like hike to get there. But that's not the one we went to, right? Where we got kicked out. Nah, it okay. wasn't that one either. But um, yeah, something I went to with my ex, but it ended up being something else. So it wasn't the spot. Really? And it was like an hour drive. <laughs> but yo, the place to get there, super sketchy, bro. Like, like it was so, it was so sketchy. Like um. Did you tell like me it was when like, I tell you, like it was, it was cool all the way there. Like you see, we're going through certain parts of New Jersey. Like it's getting more and more like rugged, freaking just more woods, you yeah, know, yeah, more yeah. woods, more woods, more woods. And then we make it to this one street. Mm-hmm. We drove like, we drove like, when I tell you, like we on some like Jurassic Park stuff, <laughs> like, I have videos and everything. We drove through like. A forest road for at least like two miles really just straight in and it was just straight like Tree? it was straight forest road like on some harry potter forest type stuff like it was so <clears throat> it was so deep in like it felt like i was in like pa like like the road wasn't was very narrow and literally on each side it was just mad trees so like eventually when the sun goes down it was just 
Oh, trees, bl- trees block and everything. So, oh. so like the sun, the sun would only really be out if it was like on the top, top, the top. Like you know how I said it, it was going in like a like a garage almost. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So like the only source of light was like right here. So if it was like. The sun was like on the left hand side. You wouldn't like, be able to see unless it. you got all the way out the forest. Like when we came off the main highway. Yeah. And it was like off to like a left. And then, bro, like it was like this one part we got to like this this little bridge. This is all while we're in the car. We got to this little bridge. Bro, it was like bad Jurassic Park, bro. <laughs> it was like a little wooden bridge, bro. It was over like so like a river type shit. Or was it just nah, a normal it was bridge? just like a normal bridge, but oh, right, it just right. looked so sketchy, and you just had to make little turns. I'll show you the videos oh, another right. time and stuff. I got you, but I got you. Yeah, bro, but we ended up getting to the end of it, and it was actually a hiking spot. Oh, it was a hiking yes. spot? Yes. Okay. So this whole time, I'm like, bro, we're just driving like, we're it, like a mile <laughs> in, bro, and it's like it's like three or four o'clock at night. and It was in the, the like four in the morning? No, no. I, oh, uh, in the afternoon. Afternoon. Oh, okay. I but, was about to say, bro. But um, it was still uh light out. But like I said, like how the trees were built and stuff. I'm like, bro, we dark. can't, we can't be here. Too late. Like even before the sun goes down, we gotta dip because, yeah. like I said, the sun wasn't down, and if you were deep in the woods, it felt like the sun was down. But Aww. as soon as you got back on the highway, it was. It was, it was cool. light out and that's, stuff. Oh, see, that's crazy. Where do you even find that shit from? You just look Bruh, that up? just look it up. That's what I'm saying. Like, you look up... New Jersey got actually some really good hiking places. Like, they got mad... We got mad mountains and stuff. Mad trails of, like, a lot of just places to hike. Wow. Nah, I need to go hiking again, bro. We haven't been hiking in mad long. That's what I'm saying, bro. You gotta come and we nah, be going. Let, us, let me know, bro. I need to go back. I'm trying to tell these me niggas Me and to go. Jordan... Yo, that's all me and Jordan and my boy Lotus did this summer. Just mad hiking places that's why i said we found that that one sketchy place bro i'm gonna show you the videos i posted it on my finsta and stuff yeah. bro it was tough though it was like a really 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 high waterfall yeah and uh we took some pictures and stuff and it had like some views but that's kind of nice i need to mad do. mad in the cut mad Cause, in the cut cause i'm not gonna lie i'm really like a nature guy i like seeing like the nature and stuff that's like going I'm to saying, the Poconos, bro. Bro. that's what i'm saying it felt that's yo the part it was like all the way west New Jersey, so, so it kind of like felt PA? like it was if like it was going towards it, but it was mm-hmm. still completely New Jersey. I'm like, bro, this is New Jersey. This looks like we're in a different state. That's like, what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. New Jersey got a little bit of everything, bro. Got city life, suburbs, the freaking farmland. Yeah, like, there's a big farmland down there. South Jersey is a lot of farms down there. Literally, bro. you yeah. have everything. You got the beach. Yeah, you, got you got the Jersey, Jersey Shore. Shore. Yeah, like, we really got, got every biome in that shit, bro. Like. There's nothing you can change your freaking ways without even leaving the state. That's like, true. That's true. Go like from this, the city life to the farm. There's life. mad different, like little, like different, like culture. No, yeah, how, cultures like in different. Like you know, we're used to like the city life, so we're like more towards New York. The people in South Jersey, they're more like Philly and shit like that. Yeah, people, people north, it's a little so more north is like bro. New it's York so and shit different. like that. I ain't gonna lie, I be going to places in New Jersey. Sometimes I be getting a little uncomfortable. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. A yeah. lot, of, a lot of these trails too. I be like, bro, son, where, where are we at right now? Nah, bro? we gotta take a hiking trip one day. I be trying to tell the nigga we should do camping. Would you do camping, bro? All right, what what type of camping? <laughs> like right. like the actual we the need actual to, we need to warm up to it first. So we gotta get like the a actual campground. tenting camp. We gotta do campgrounds first, bro. Cause I setting up if you don't know how to set up a tent. I know. I know. That, that it's it's not hard, but the concept is a little tricky at first. But once you get it, you'll get it. But but I ain't gonna lie, it it is cool, it is cool. If we have like a really, cause you know they got some big ass tents. If I know. We set up the. They got some big ass tents. That's like, like a house. Like, that like, like twenty got, niggas, right? Yeah, <laughs> I that seen that shit. shit. I seen them. Well, shit. all of us in it might be funny as hell, but I just, I just. We I need. Know, we need bro. to be where we there's need, people at. We can't just yeah, go I into the woods. Be, you know, we're gonna no, fucking no die. Bears. We're yeah, gonna yeah. fucking die. I'm not gonna lie. If we're gonna we're, die. If we're on the campgrounds, and yeah, I'm. I might. I might. I might. We gotta. We gotta get used to it. Though, like you said, warm up to it. Yeah, because not a lot of, uh, especially a lot of niggas don't like going to the woods, bro. Yeah, I feel bro. like the only niggas but, that's like outside is like a little. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't like that that outdoor stuff, and it's cool. Yeah, but um, like a little, you know, 
I'm always down for the 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 cabin, like a oh, nice and, uh, just to get a cabin in the woods and shit, like on a campground. I'm down to do that. I might Cab- cabins is always lit. We might I might do like maybe next year we might do like a winter vacation. Bro, my family last year we had a we stayed on a B and B in PA. Is that the one with the farm and there was like goats yeah, everywhere? Yeah, looked- it was that shit was funny as hell. But the f- the farmhouse was nice as hell. Like it was a. It had hell of my family members, so it's, it was like a big ass house, so it slept mad people. Yeah, and it had like a freaking indoor pool and shit. Really? So was yeah. the farm on the property, or was it like next door to? No, nah, it was shit? literally. It was the property. It was on oh, the property. It was, so like all the pigs and shit would just be walking around. Bro, they would just come outside just because. Yeah, that was the farm. Like that's tough. I they ain't weren't. Lie. They weren't guarded off for nothing. Like, it was just that's where they live type shit. Yeah. It was a pig. Hella chickens would come out. Goats would come out. The horses were in a stable, so you yeah. had to go see them. But the horde, they had horses. Um, I'm not gonna lie. If we went there, somebody's gonna bring a chicken inside, Bruh. <laughs> Somebody gonna grab uh, a or a pig. I ain't gonna lie. They had some of them. They had like the the roosters. The, yeah, like the fucking <laughs> the fucking the. Yeah, the roosters and stuff, bro. They were freaking. Them things were no joke. I'm not gonna lie. Like as in like big or they. I don't like think nobody aggressive. would be able to take them. They were aggressive, bro, because they had <laughs> people had cats and the cats would mess with the chickens. They were scared. They didn't mess with the chickens no more because he had he had like five roosters, bro. You could tell the regular chickens, you know. Mm-hmm. Nah, these the roosters were all different colors. The, all the chickens were like beige or whatever color chickens be yeah. like that yellow color. Hands, man's had some some cocks that were, <laughs> that were freaking uh, gray and bro a gray one I yeah like it was rooster bro it stood up it just looked muscular bro really like how big was, was they it was just they were a little bigger than the, oh, than the regular, regular chicken, chicken right, but man. like you could tell it just looked over them and yeah. like bro i would try to go mess with them and then <laughs> and they would chase after you he would like I would go run after them. The other chickens would run. He would not run. He would just like sit there, and like not scared type shit. Yeah, just look at me like watch what I'm doing. I'm like, oh no, nah. them niggas be fearless, bro. I be, yeah, you ever watched the, the chicken and fight? And then he had a bunch of them. How many? Like, he had like five of them, uh, but he had a bunch of chickens though. So it just they watched over all the. Oh, chickens. so there was like the guards, bro. Yeah, basically, uh, bro. That's crazy. Like, you ever watched- no joke. The cats were even the cats were scared. The of cats them. were scared that's of the why roosters. I was like, yeah, nah. I'm not messing with them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not messing them with them. Them niggas be bro. scary, bro. Like you ever watch like a chicken fight, like them little rooster fights? Oh yeah, no. Nah, they they could be they could really mess you up. Like in the Philippines, they show that shit on TV. And like what they do is like they fi- I think they file like their little um their claws or they put like knives on their claws yes. so they can kill them faster. And they I, I heard they put like they hype them up on like cocaine and shit. Hey, bro, that ain't right, bro. Hey, I don't that know. Right. For entertainment is crazy. But they be doing that though. They be doing that freaking Puerto Rico too, bro. Oh, they really? Be, chicken they fights? Be, they be doing, yeah. That's OD, bro. <laughs> they do that low key every, I think everywhere they got chicken. Yeah, I think that that's shit. just like how niggas, yeah, I know what you mean. That niggas like soccer. But yeah, I need, we need one day. Camping. Members camping trip, bro. Let us, uh, you just got to get everybody out of their comfort zone, yeah. bro. Yeah. That's, that's what be wrong with niggas, bro. They don't want to get out of their comfort zone. I know, that's bro. I told you, it's just like bro. me, you, Jordan. Jason probably would do some shit like that. Jason would probably be down. Jason don't <laughs> give a fuck. Niggas like Chris. Chris really don't like outside. UJ, <laughs> you, remember when we went to Poconos, nigga? Chris was inside while we was hiking. Yeah, yo, he really missed out. That was fun, bro. That that day. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's what all me and Jordan, my boy, was doing this summer. That's tough, bro. But you got anything else you want to talk about, my brother? Um, nah. I gotta start bringing stuff though. I be folding. It's okay, my brother. It's all good. You know, I always got you. Thank you again folding. for pulling up for another podcast. Yeah, no, nah, this and this was this was lit. This yeah, was good podcast. Good so thank you again for tuning in to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number sixty five. But I just wanna say to everybody, all the two hundred ten thousand people that watch us, all the two thousand, almost three thousand subs on YouTube. If you started watching this now or you've been right. watching this in the beginning, I just want to thank y'all for you know just sticking with us, watching all our videos and things like that. Because you know you didn't have to watch us. You know I would never have thought. I think I said the last part. This time last year, I think that's when we first like started blowing up. Mm. Like that's when I remember. I think I got my first million. We got our first million on on Thanksgiving, and I think Lord, we only we only had like yeah. a th- we only had like a thousand. 
Like at the, at the start of November, we had like a thousand, fifteen hundred followers, and now we're almost at two, two eleven, two hundred eleven thousand. So two hundred thousand, almost two hundred and ten thousand followers later, bro. In a year, bro. I, I would it's never. That have grind. Thought. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's that grind. I, if you would have told me this last year, this is how big it's gonna be. I would never believe you, bro. But you know, it's it's just like he says, just the grind, people. And you don't need a bunch of little crazy guests. See, I I deal with my brothers. I deal with Jay. So I just want to thank y'all. That's I never, got, you know, That's what I'm all. saying, I never, I never got to thank y'all for um, watching all the shows, watching all the podcasts. If you new, if you new to the channel, comment. If you've been here from the beginning, comment. All the people in Discord, I think we got like sixty people in Discord. Oh yeah, I actually need to lock in with that. Actually, it's kind of cool. They be they be talking to us and shit like that. They be coming to us. Hey, if you got topics for us, if you want to uh, talk about some shit, put it in the Discord. Join our Discord. All link in the bio. Oh, shout out to all our sponsors, Natural Shield G and um, GLD Shop. You know, Shop GLD if you want some affordable jewelry for Lock you. In. You know what I'm saying? Natural Shield G if you need something for your brain, your mental capacity, you need something to help you focus. Also, it's good for your hair, skin, all that stuff. Natural vitamins. You might like that shit. I don't know if you get into all that. Uh, it's like detox and shit like that. You, you, like, if you drink tea in the morning, you put that in your tea, you'll be good. Yeah, my, need, my needs definitely, definitely do for a detox. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Definitely. But yeah, thank you again for tuning in to another episode. Follow all the socials down below. And you know, I got anything else? Subscribe if you knew all that good stuff. And thank you again, bro. From the bottom of our hearts, bro. We wouldn't be here without y'all, bro. We just at the end of the day it's just all about having fun, bro. Having good combos. We me and my guy, we talk about shit like this every day, yes, bro. Sir. They ain't nothing new, bro. This is, we ain't never fake nothing in our lives, bro. No regulars. You know what I'm saying? We different than regular, no regulars, man. Gangsta. I'm gonna really go get it, yeah. I'm gonna really go get it, yeah. I'm gonna really go get it.